since Diego is gone now and I just feel really alone, I decided to go talk to the only two singles in my house, Ginger and Alejandro. So like, how do you guys get used to not having a partner anymore? Well, it's not really all that different. I mean, you just kind of go from playing the game for you and someone else to playing the game for you. Yeah, it's kind of like you go from having an alliance to, well, the alliance being broken up. I just feel like, I don't know, that I was safer when, like, Diego was here because I'm not really that great of a player and, like, he's stronger than I am. Well, hey, if there's anything I can tell you, it's that the singles look out for each other. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we've been lucky so far. Nobody's put us up. But if Ginger were to go up... I definitely try to keep her safe because nobody else is going to. Well, hey, that's a little offensive. Don't you think I made friends in the house? Well, okay, yeah, but I mean, like, you know, you're by yourself. You don't have anybody, you know, at your side to help. That's true. But you know if I went up, you'd be going up too. Yeah, but I would still want to keep you safe because it sucks. They really did help me out, but I still felt this, like, overwhelming sense of dread. It's just so scary to think about, you know, because, like, before... If you didn't do well on like the veto competition and you were up, you had somebody else at your back. But now if you don't do well at the veto competition, like you could get out. That's what friends are for, I say anyway. You know, we're the only three singles in the house. I think we should make a pact. If any of us get up, we'll do whatever we can to help the other person, even if they don't win the veto. You can count me in for that. Symphonia, you make a really good argument. I hadn't really thought about that. Wait, so we're like making an alliance? Kind of. Only if we get up. Yeah, definitely. I'd like to know that I have somebody to count on if I do get up. Because, you know, my alliance is gone. When Alejandro suggested an alliance, I was all for it. I know I'm really good friends with Celestia, but if I were in trouble, I can't necessarily count on her to get me out because, like, she's not exactly, like, that good of a fighter. Like, she's kind of like me. Well, you can count me in. And me too. I am definitely in on this. I know that Ginger and Alejandra are really, really good players. So if I ever went up and I needed somebody's help, I think that, like, they could help me. Hey, everybody. Who wants to see my HOH room? Oh, wow. Heck yes! Birdie Bot's Bees, this is the greatest stuff on the planet. Isn't this stuff from like that Harry Potter book series? So, it is amazing. The gross ones are my favorite. For future reference, you can have my earwax ones all you want. Yeah, and like take my earthworm ones. Like, ew. Yes! You guys are awesome. Weasel! Yes, my Weasel figurine, you're my good luck charm! Weasel? Wait, as in Pokemon? Yes! Dude, I had no idea you played Pokemon! All the time, man. Pokemon tournaments at my college, it was awesome! Man, I want to go to your college so bad. Read the letter! Yeah, read the letter, we want to see what it, like, says. Okay, okay, okay. Zeus, it's Sammy, your roommate. I hope you didn't forget about me. I'm writing to you with everybody from our hall standing with me. And... Bob wants to say that he says hi, so Bob says hi. We're all watching you. We go into the free room and take the TV from all the stupid freshmen, and we watch you every time a new episode is on. Keep doing your best, and hey, that Onyx chick is pretty cute. Oh my god. Wow, okay. If you win, you better be paying for beers for all of us at the next party. Love. The guys from Hall 3B. Oh my gosh, it's like so cute. Thanks to everybody for coming up. If you don't mind, I'm going to take a little nap, but you guys are more than welcome to come up in a few hours. Congratulations on the head of household. Great room, Zeus. Okay, remind me again why we're talking in the bathroom. Because anywhere in the house we could get eavesdropped on, and this is important. Right, because nobody's going to come into the bathroom while we're in it. I shut the door. Please don't tell me you locked it. I, I did. Is it that bad? No, not bad at all. Just a guy and a girl webkins locked into the bathroom. Oh, wow, this is awkward. Wait, you know, if you want to go in the kitchen or something, I am um... too late, Matt. Just tell me what you want to say, and hopefully nobody has noticed. <sighs> okay, well, I don't think Zeus is going to trust me, especially after the stuff that I pulled him with my head of household. Yeah, I don't think so, especially since you blew up the house and blew up your own like alliance and almost put all of us at risk too i know which is why i need to ask you a huge favor ask away i'm your partner okay well 
Do you think you could talk to Zeus and convince him to put Alejandro up? I don't know. I mean, I guess I could try, but what's your reasoning for this? I don't want Alejandro coming after me because now he's allianceless. He doesn't have Diego to lean on, so he's got nobody. And he certainly doesn't have Annalise because she's gone. So I'm worried that he'll try to come after me and I just want him gone before that happens. <sighs> yeah, I guess I'll try to talk to him. Can I go now? This is really awkward and I- Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, I, I didn't really think this through. No, you didn't. Being the head of household is great because it finally puts some power in my hands and I don't have to hope or try to guess what the current head of household is gonna do. But when it comes to deciding who to nominate, I always gotta go to my two alliance members, Onyx and Poppy. So I went and found them and called them up to my head of household room because we definitely needed to chat. Okay guys, it's time to talk strategy. Who are we going to nominate? Well, I don't know who you're thinking, but Matt's already talked to me. Well, what did he say? Wait, wait a minute. Why isn't Matt here? Isn't he part of our alliance? Yeah, kind of, but with him as head of household ruling what's best for him instead of best for the alliance, I don't know if he's really loyal to us, you know? I mean, no offense, Sonics, but I really don't want him in our group. I'm stuck as being his partner. It's not like I chose to. So wait, if neither of you like him, why don't we put him up? What? What? Okay, just hear me out. Onyx, you don't want to be his partner, right? Well, I guess I don't mind it, really. And Zeus, you said you're not pleased with him, right? Well, yeah. So the only logical explanation is to put up Onyx and Matt. Onyx, you throw out the veto competition, hope that Matt doesn't win it, and then you keep them on the block and we keep this the house so that Matt is the bigger threat. Yeah, but then there's the danger of me getting out. Oh, let's consider it a last resort. You know, in case the original nominees get off, then we'll nominate them. Yeah, please. <sighs> Fine. It's a great plan, but whatever. Okay, anyway, what did he talk to you about, Onyx? He wants me to try to convince you to put up Alejandro. <sighs> to save his own tush, I bet. Exactly. He's afraid that Alejandro's gonna come after him and try to get him out. Yeah, right. Alejandro doesn't care. He's the most laid-back guy ever. Uh, hello? What about me? <laughs> right. But you know what I mean. So if we're not doing my great plan, and we're not going to bend to Matt's will, what are we gonna do? I don't know. We're not putting up Onyx and Matt. We definitely don't want to put on Miss Spooky and Snickers or Celeste and Severs because we still want our showman to happen. Yeah, we gotta get working on that, guys. That's not really... I mean, not much is... Don't worry. You gotta let love happen. Since when are you a love expert? Um, I watch romance movies all the time. I know everything there is to know about love. Except when it comes to my life, because, like, nobody wants to be in love. Right. Anyway, the only people we're left with are Ginger, Symphonia, and Alejandro, the singles. So, put up Ginger and Symphonia. Reason being what? I don't know, it's not like we're backing them. Who cares? The less people in the house, the more chance we have a shot at winning. She's right. We can't just let people stay in this house. We gotta get them out if we wanna win. Well, I guess you're right. But then what if one of them wins the veto? Then you put up Alejandro. That's the only thing you can do. That's what the rules say about the singles. It's true. And if Alejandro got in the veto competition, won it? Well, then you put up Onyx and Matt. Poppy, I really don't like that plan. Yeah, but it's our only other option. There's nobody else to put up. Alright, well, I guess this is what I'm going with. So, what's the news, Onyx? What's his plan? He's gonna nominate Symphonia and Ginger. Great. Well, we're all safe. Only if they stay on the block and don't get off. What do you mean? There's a chance that Matt and I could go up. But only if Alejandro happened to get in the veto competition when and take one of them off. Wait, why is he gonna put up you and Matt? Duh, because Zeus is pissed at Matt, and because Onyx is probably mad at him too, and who the heck wants a partner that pulls some kind of drama like that? Wow, were you being silent and shadow-like? Really creepy. You tend to know everything in this house. Yeah, like how Matt locked you both into the bathroom. <laughs> what? He, he wanted to talk strategy. That was it, I swear. I didn't say that it wasn't. <laughs> That guy's a total idiot. You've got to keep him in this game. Oh yeah, I'm all for that. He's stirring up a lot of drama and it keeps us safe. That's true. Although I feel like if he was the head of household and you walked past him with like a grimace on your face, you'd be on the chopping block for glaring at him. <laughs> Good one. Well, anyway, that's the plan. I just want to let you guys know. So who are we going to end up voting out? Well, I don't know. Ginger? Symphonia? 
kind of obvious to me. Ginger. I know that Poppy Zeus, Matt and I wanted Miss Spooky and Severus to get together because they're adorable, but lately I've kind of been noticing that they're really in tune with each other. Like, almost as if they can read each other's thoughts. Yeah, I'm totally on board for this whole we've got to push them together thing. Poppy and I definitely have to get on this. Hello, everybody. It is time for the nomination ceremony. As you know, as a head of household, I either have to nominate two singles or one duo to be on the chopping block this week. Um, as my partner, Poppy is safe from um, nomination and elimination this uh, round. Also, since I am a male, I will be picking out the keys of the males of the duos except for the singles. So with that, uh, I will pick the first key. Snickers and Miss Spooky, you are safe. Thank you, Zeus. Thanks, Zeus. Alejandro, you are safe. Thanks, Zeus. Matt and Onyx, you are safe. Thank you, Zeus. Thanks, Zeus. Severus and Celeste, you guys are safe. Thanks, Zeus. Thank you, Zeus. Okay, so I have nominated Symphonia and Ginger. Ginger, I feel like you're a huge threat in this house. It's not because you're a singer, it's just because you're a really strong player. I just want to, you know, put that out there because last uh, season it didn't go so well when people put up Rusty. Um, I really respect you as a person, just for my game and my partner's game. I feel like you're a threat. Symphonia, um, I feel like you really dodged a bullet with, you know, Diego being up because Diego was a stronger player, but I feel like with you by yourself, you're still, you know, sneaky and I just, you know, I gotta protect my game and I'm so sorry. I hope you don't take it personally, but it's just a game. Um, with that, the nomination ceremony is adjourned. Like, of course I'm being scared, being put up on the block, like, my first week as a single, but I feel like Zeus wasn't really being honest in his answer. I don't know if he just struck a deal with somebody, or if he's trying to, like, backdoor Alejandro or whatever, but I feel like he should have at least been honest at the nomination ceremony and not just give me, like, this big bag of lies, like, oh, you're a threat because you're sneaky, like, what have I ever done to you? It really doesn't surprise me that I'm up on the block again. Um, I just didn't expect it would be Zeus to do it. I didn't think he had the nerve and I thought he would, you know, I don't know, go more for Alejandro. I kind of had this feeling that, like, Matt and Onyx were with him in, a, like, an alliance, you know? Or, like, with him and Poppy just because when Matt was up, they didn't go up even though they would have been my obvious choice. And, you know, with Zeus up, <laughs> Matt and Onyx didn't go up and Matt would have been the obvious choice. So I feel like there's a little hidden alliance and, you know, whatever, but... It's a game, and I'm going to fight my best, and Zeus, you better hope that I do go home this week because you're going to be in danger if I don't, and I end up winning the head of household.